Welcome to La Dolce Vita Files. I'm your host, Donna DeRosa, the founder of La Dolce Vita Lifestyle. This is episode three of my exploration of La Dolce Vita, the sweet life Italian style. In this episode, I want to talk to you about romance and passion. Italians are full of passion. (laughs) Passion for food, for art, for fashion, for sport, for living. Italy is a land where friends and even acquaintances greet each other with double-cheek kisses. (laughs) They are not afraid to touch, to use their hands. They are comfortable with their bodies and are comfortable with your body no matter its shape. They are not afraid to get close. And they are not afraid to look. Perhaps it is all the beautiful scenery and golden light in Italy, but they are more than willing to eye a pretty girl or a naked sculpture or a bowl of pasta They will look you in the eye and hold your gaze and flirt. They are not afraid of romance. They actively seek it. You too can become acquainted with romance. It takes just a little bit of effort, but the rewards are worth it. Here's how. You must have an open mind. Be open to new experiences. Be open to finding romance. You have to practice. Practice makes perfect. Hold someone's gaze longer than you normally would. Start a conversation with the person next to you in line at the store or at the coffee shop. Practice meeting people. You never know when you'll hit it off. Have a positive attitude. Some people will respond to you and others will not, but that should not discourage you. Use a little creativity. If you sit at home in your house all day, you will never meet anyone. Find interesting things to do where you will meet interesting people. You must like yourself first. If you don't like yourself, why should anyone else? Stop beating yourself up because you think you need to lose a few pounds or make more money or have a more interesting job. You are perfect just the way you are. What is the meaning of romance? The word romance comes from the stories of old, where knights in shining armor performed chivalrous deeds, fell in love with beautiful maidens, and lived adventurous lives. King Arthur comes to mind. Be the hero of your own story. You get to write that romance. Why not make it colorful and full of passion? Have a love affair with life. Let go of old baggage. We all have a history. If you don't like your backstory, rewrite it in a happier way. Maybe you've had some failed relationships, or maybe you were too shy to ever try. Look back with rose-colored glasses and move forward with your new choices. Whatever may have happened in the past, it is important to keep your dignity and move on. Keep yourself open to new experiences. The past does not always repeat itself, unless we let it by not changing our behavior, our attitude, or our reactions. Your happiness lies in your choices. Let yourself be happy. Choose to pursue happiness. Don't wait until you lose weight, or have a better job, or win the lottery, or whatever excuse you normally use. Be happy now. Italians don't wait. If a bowl of spaghetti makes them happy, they eat a bowl of spaghetti. (laughs) They are happy having a cappuccino with a friend. They are happy taking a walk on a sultry evening. They are happy living day to day. You make your happy moments. Make them often. The more happy moments you string together, the happier your life story will be. And you know what? Happiness attracts happy people, and you will bring more happy people into your life, and perhaps even a little romance. It's important to be open, but not desperate. If you need romance or love to be happy, you will scare it away. You must fulfill yourself first, make yourself happy first, and look at romance as something extra. It's the cherry on top of your ice cream sundae. It's the icing on the cake. It's lovely to be wanted. It's suffocating to be needed. Do you see the difference? Let's talk about romance killers. What are surefire ways to kill a romance? Complaining. Negativity. Laziness, criticizing, judging, 
avoid these behaviors at all cost. Do you want more passion and romance in your life? Do you want to live La Dolce Vida? How are you going to get it? Tell me in the comments section below. As you know, I like to end each podcast episode by giving you some homework. I call them La Dolce Vita practices. The more you practice, the better you will get at living the sweet life. Your practice this time is to enjoy a glass of bubbly. Champagne, Prosecco, Cava, sparkling wine, or even mineral water. Take your pick. I love a glass of chilled bubbly on a warm summer's day. Actually, any time of year, I'm up for a bit of the bubbly. <laughs> Your assignment this week, should you choose to accept it, is to treat yourself to a bit of the bubbly. You don't have to open a whole bottle, although it's highly recommended. <laughs> you can buy a half bottle or a split. A split is 187 milliliters, or a quarter of a bottle. It will give you a glass, maybe a glass and a half. If you don't consume alcohol, try mineral water with fresh fruit. Or make your own soda at home by adding a flavored syrup to club soda. But if you do drink alcohol, let's discuss the different types of bubbles available. Champagne, Prosecco, and Cava. What's the difference? Sparkling wine is the broad term for bubbly. Champagne is the queen of all sparkling wines. It is only made in the region of Champagne, France. Any sparkling wine made outside of Champagne is called sparkling wine. <laughs> Prosecco is a sparkling wine from Italy. It is similar to champagne, but made in a quicker method that allows it to be less expensive. Prosecco is fermented before being put into the bottle. It has a slightly fruitier taste than champagne, and it's very refreshing. Cava is a sparkling wine from Spain, named for the caves where it is fermented. Cava is made in the traditional champagne method. Its second fermentation takes place in the bottle, like traditional champagne. Cava is the least expensive of the three bubbly. My recommendations. My favorite champagne is Paul Roger. I was introduced to it at a champagne tasting. If you like the flavor of Verve Clicquot, Paul Roger has a similar minerality. Paul Roger has taken over as my favorite. It goes very well with oysters or it's fabulous on its own. The Reserve Brut ranges in price from $39 to $49. However, it is not always easy to find. My favorite French sparkling wine is Marquis de la Tour. It's about $10 a bottle, and it's delicious. I had it in a French restaurant that was serving endless champagne for a Bastille Day celebration. I asked the owner how she could keep the champagne flowing freely without going bankrupt, and she told me about this very inexpensive wine. It's produced just outside the champagne region, so they can't charge champagne prices, but it's very good. I highly recommend it. My first choice in Prosecco is Mionetto. My favorite is the rosé. It comes in a clear bottle so the beautiful blush color shows through. Prosecco has exploded in popularity over the past few years. Prosecco tastes lighter and fruitier than champagne. It makes a very refreshing treat in warm weather. It also makes an excellent pre-dinner drink and is a good mixer for all kinds of champagne cocktails. A bottle of Mionetto rosé runs about $14 to $15 depending on where you get it. The easiest cava to find is Freshenette. You can find it in any supermarket that sells wine. You may have seen its chic black bottle on the shelves. Freshenette has a bright, fruity flavor and is very refreshing on its own or as a cocktail mixer. A bottle of Freshenette Brut is usually around $11. You can often find the splits for $1.99. Don't mistake its low price for a cheap flavor, it's very good. Another brilliant cava brand is called Anna Cordugno. I like its Blanc de Blanc. It comes in a white bottle and runs about $12 to $14. There are many bubbly drinks to choose from. What is your favorite? Celebrate your sweet life with a glass or two. Salute! I'll see you in the next episode where we'll discuss eating Italian style. Until next time, ciao! If you enjoyed this episode, sign up for weekly emails at DonnaDeRosa.com.